Well, hello again, Akani here with another video. Um, today I want to speak a little bit about how to grow your own pineapples. I have noticed many variations of going by doing this method. And the one method that I wanted to show you that works for me and has been working for quite some time is a method that you can, you know, uh, using uh, nothing but water and a container to hold the water in. I have an example right here already started. What you would need is a pineapple crown. You can get this from any pineapple fresh fruit and you can purchase it from any local store, your fresh um, farmer's market um, or anywhere that may have pineapples for sale. Um, take that crown and um, just below that crown you, you will start, you will begin to peel um, leaves and I normally would peel about an inch off you know as a stopping point um, just to display these roots here um, however these roots are the brownish you see the, these brown roots they are inactive um, fortunately they will not be the roots that you will see growing throughout your water but along top here this white area here um, lies some little tiny dots those are the actual developing roots that will be stimulated to grow throughout your water so um, you peel your leaves off you just play this area here you could go higher as you peel your leaves off just know that you don't want to take too many leaves off um, because then you will not have enough photosynthesis to create any energy to get those developing new roots off to a good start and that is vital to the plant crown here and um, so once you have done that you just take your um, container of water fill it up halfway and um, you place it inside of your little reservoir like so now note when you do this make sure you keep an eye on how much water you fill up to the top because you don't want to over you don't want to overflow or suffocate that plant crown the base of this plant crown if this happens, you will begin to see a white, um, a white film-like flur um, throughout your water, and that will cause an an excessive amount of fungus residue. This residue will eventually build up, and it will in your uh, plant will intake all of this, and uh, it will totally rot everything about your plant completely out discontinuing any new growth that was growing on with your plant that is bad for a good start of your root system now you let this sit for about two weeks and you'll start to see roots growing throughout your water um, I have an example here one that I've already started and this is about a weekend this is about a weekend already and you can see how well that has done I just cut back some leaves that start to turn brown with that and um, um, it has been doing well ever since those roots pretty well trimmed the leaves back a little bit just gave it a little bit more stimulation in the growth this is another one that has been growing on for more than a month now it's about two months I like this one here because you know, I it was filled with leaves, but I took it about um, uh, maybe three times uh, the inch that I would normally take it, and it created this little narrow stalk, which is a, really a focal point to my eye, um, how thick these leaves are. Uh, the roots are grown, and they're white, they're, they're healthy. I mean, this plant is doing well, though, also. So, you know, that's some of the things you can um, see a result. And we're using this method, simple water in the container. Let me talk a little bit about this baby here. This was about, this is about a month and a half in now. Before that, I had a, a serious condition with this plant. As you can see, before this was nothing more than a um, stalk itself. It had very, it had little, it had very few leaves on here. The leaves went through a bad condition. They turned brown. It was fungus built up everywhere. So I ended up discarding everything about this little stalk, this little crown here. And I thought I was just, you know, I figured, okay, well, let me just totally discard everything. But I was just gonna not worry about trying to save it. But if, um, unfortunately, three weeks later, after I set it in some water, I began to see roots. 
and along with these roots came what you see here is known as a sucker. It grew alongside this crown. So, you know, that just confirms that with this method, you could, um, you know, you might think, okay, well, um, any condition of a crown of a pineapple, if it's in a bad condition, then so, uh, just throw it away. No, nah, keep it, let it sit, see what it does, because with the potential of an active crown, you will start, you will begin, um, you will eventually see new growth. And this method works. Um, so another point I want to point out is that I, you notice I have these pins underneath the light source. This light source is recommendable. Only thing that I suggest is that get you something a little bit darker than these containers here, because what happens is if that light source reach in it, reach uh, the water here, and it has contact with anything that's growing on in the water, it could build an excessive amount of algae buildup. That algae buildup, you don't want that. That will sub that that will do um, as great of harm as uh, fungus buildup. So it will take your plant out as well too. So you want to, and the idea is to get a good start off to a good root system. Um, that's all I have. Um, like I said, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you took some pointers out on growing your own pineapple plant. Um, until then, stay growing and stay inspired.